Hey guys, Stephanie here. So this is going to be the last video in my Dollar Tree Art Journal series. But I will pop on from time to time to show you, you know, the additional things that I've been doing to it because it's going to take a lot longer, you know, to get it to where I really want it to be. So it's pretty much set up for now. And I have my dangles here. I decided to do these instead of hanging one off of here because I would have to be, do I want to do a separate video for that. And I don't have any like Dollar Tree charms or anything like that. I had, did have these though, these um, beaded eyeglass holder thingies. I have these when I put charms on those. So that's what I'm just going to go with for now. And I love them. I'm using them as bookmarks and they look so cute hanging uh, off the journal. They're a little long for this journal, but that's okay. I don't mind that. You know, very cute. I can adjust it and make it shorter or whatever if I want it to. So it's really, really cute, right? So we love that. All right. That's how it looks. And um, I did go add a lot more stuff to this. I'm still um, going to add more stuff. I'm stamping in it now. I'm using the Dollar Tree stamps. So I have the stamps here. Okay. Um, first, let me show you this, though. I put my ephemera in this little Dollar Tree case. This is one of the stationary cases that um, the, letter, the letters and the little papers and stuff came in. So I just put my ephemera in here to keep it all together. And I'll put my tags in here as well. So when I'm working on it, if I want to take it, say, downstairs or something with me, I can just put my little ephemera in here and take it with me. And it matches, per you know, it's nice and bright and vivid. And it goes with sort of, I mean, it's neon, but, you know, they have other colors. I felt like it kind of paired nicely with the journal. So I can keep my little stuff in there. I also, guys, let me show you this. Now, a lot of you got these markers, right? these glitter markers. So I'm going to be using some of these glitter markers inside of the journal. So I started kind of just doodling in it just a little bit, not much, just, you know, making some little, little marks and stuff in it. So I'm going to be using some of these inside of the journal. Okay. So that's also a good idea for you. We have lots of stuff to put in the journal. Now I made my tags because I was working on the tags and I just added some more paint colors to these tags okay i added this color i added a little bit of this and then a little bit of this see these three i love these colors they're very pretty all right so i added some of that to what was already on here and just made them a little bit more you know vivid and bright and everything so and then i added some trims um the bees that i got won't fit on here and i felt like you know i already had enough going on with this that i didn't want a whole bunch of stuff hanging off of here just you know I'm going to just play with it a little bit and maybe add a few more little ribbons. I have to dig them out. But for now, that's what I have. Okay, so we're going to stick that inside of the journal. And then I use the Dollar Tree uh, twine for that. Okay, now the only thing I don't have is the ink. So I'm going to have to use some of my archival ink. Actually, actually, this is from a dollar store. This is from Dollar King, this little stamp thingy I have here. Um... So what we're going to do is, here, I'm going to put this on here. Make sure. Oh, well, it didn't really work that great. So that's all right. I'll probably end up covering it up. I can always paint over it. But I am going to glue this in here. So I could glue that in here, but I don't want it way up there. So I did not like that. But I will try to see what else other uh, stamps I can put in here guys so my stamping did not come out that great so I'm just going to paint over that all right and uh, I will try to do some stamping and further in the journal I have to play with it a little bit you know um I, I actually use a couple of these and they came out okay on some other stuff but I'll have to play with it just a little bit and I'm just going to put this here and I'll probably just paint over that matter of fact I think I'm going to do I will, I'm going to let it dry first because I don't want to smear it and then I will paint over that, okay? And just add this. I probably have to ink over this with some um, like coffee colored ink. I will do that. So I'm gonna leave that there. But um, yeah, so this is the stuff that I added to it. Okay, and then this is one of the recent things, most recent things that I added to it was the flip, the little fabric flip out of a, uh, one of those neck scarves that uh, I found at Dollar Tree, okay? And then what did I do? See, I made some little, little marks with the markers, the glitter markers inside of there, like right here and stuff like that. So 
All right, and I'm gonna make some more ephemera. Oh, and the tags. Let me put the tags in here. And so this is gonna be just a quick little video, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. Here, let's put it like this. Let's have that clicked in there like that. Let's see, I'm using Fabric Fix. So I'm gonna just put this inside of here, okay? At right there, the front. All right, so that's where I want it. Glue that in there, really cute. Using wet glue because I can adjust it if I want. All right, now I'm gonna cover this up is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do just this, what I did with these tags last night, y'all. I don't know if it'll cover it up totally, but. Layer the colors, I don't know. There you go. Here, let's take that off of there. All right, so I had to cover that up, the stamping, because it didn't work out. So my, after this dries, I may put another layer of paint on it. And I love it. It looks fine, you know. So that just goes to show you when things don't work out, you try something else, okay? All right, guys. So I was having a little trouble with my stamps, but um, I managed to stamp a few things. I love that. Look at that. Ladybugs. And the flowers came out great. Um, some of them came out okay. Some of them didn't. I don't know, maybe I didn't press down hard enough, but, you know, I uh, worked with it, and it's so cute. So I've been just kind of putting little stamps inside of the journal, like right here. Look at that. Very cute. Look at that. So cute. I love that. I love that. Look at that. I love. That's so cute. So, yeah, clearly it was user error, I think. <laughs> <laughs> which happens sometimes these are really cute i love um the little some of these little ones work out great so let me open some of these other ones here um do we like a hummingbird we do and i like that they're small enough that you can kind of put them in a corner you know you can kind of stick them in a corner somewhere and you know be done with it um, these I like a lot too. Let's open these. All right. Let's see. I did, I used this hummingbird already. Um, you have to be gentle pulling these off because I already ripped one of them. All right. So I'm just going to use this. And I'm using black ink because I think it shows up better with all this color. But you can definitely use colored ink if you want it to. You know, it's clearly a, a, cho a personal choice. So, I'm just gonna ink this up. I think I'm gonna put it right there. Oh, look at that. Very cute. Oh, came out great. Okay. All right. Very, uh, that, that makes me happy. <laughs> I was struggling for a minute there. Okay, very cute. Oh, I love that. Now I have to, um, I have to make a bigger hole in my tag here. So I'm gonna just do this. All right, see they made the bigger hole for the um, little, oh, I have two of these y'all. I do, I think, yeah. Oh no, I don't. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, just do it like this for the moment till I dig out some more ribbons. And yeah, we'll go from there, put a few more colors on here. Okay, I like these bright colors. I know a lot of people don't like the, it's not their style, but it's definitely my style. Okay. And I'm gonna add some other stuff to it. I just wanted to put this on here to see how it looked. And I might even back this with um, something a little sturdier. 
just for my you know personal taste here because I think it's a little uh, thin but these are the tags aren't they cute they came out so pretty oh y'all I got ink all over my hand sorry um but yeah they came out so pretty very pretty all right so we're gonna put this one up here okay so let's do that and then we'll put this one hold on let's move that put this one in the back I had it in the back earlier but I might have to um, put it in a pocket instead of a, a belly band oh no here let's do it like this there we go there we go perfect and then we have our little dangles hanging there I have to uh, tighten that up okay so we got a tag there very cute so we got all our little stuff hanging off of here <laughs> uh so yeah i didn't put any beads on here because i thought that was just a little much and i have to find them i don't know what i did with them so i have my little beaded bookmarks here in place of that and it came out fabulous y'all look at that so so great i'm gonna take this down with some um with some coffee ink you know archival coffee ink i'm gonna use my thing have that so it came out great that's the tags i think i'm gonna put some ephemera in here too i'm gonna put just a little small piece in here um some of these are kind of on the big side because i made them for other things but we will see here you know <laughs> we'll see what we have going on uh that's nice I like that or um any of these would be great that's good that's a nice one too let's just audition these okay this one's pretty I'm gonna save some of these for my other for some other journals oh I think this one's pretty look at that that's pretty it has to have a little pink in it huh that's pretty nope <laughs> I might have to make some I still got my hot glue gun on so I can always make some to go with this I think this one might be the best one huh that might be the best one that's cute I like that let me make sure I can close it oh yeah see you can still close it because everything is nice and still flat now see it is fluffy it's gonna get fluffy but I like a fluffy journal I love a fluffy journal y'all I like stuff hanging off of it I love a fluffy journal I think I like that there yeah I might have to glue that there. I'm going to leave that there though. Just because I don't know. Because I like, see, I like that. I was going to actually put some more paint on this first. Like some little, I'll add a little pink on here and then add something else behind it. I mean, on top of it. You know what I mean? So I will still probably do that. All right. So I'm going to leave that. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. It'll remind me to put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> so there i'll see you got your pockets you hold your tags and a little piece of ephemera i love that all right all right y'all okay now we did some stamping we got all of our stuff going so guys this is the last video like i mentioned in the series so i hope you have enjoyed the series leave me a message below and let me know you know did you craft along with me and did you enjoy watching um these videos all right and if you have any questions or comments regarding the video, let me know and I'll answer again back to you. And definitely give me a follow on my social media at Stephanie Garrett Creative on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And that's Stephanie Garrett Designs on Facebook and Instagram. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. 